Hello and welcome to a free v free cast on Judgments of Carrion. Starting off, we have Adela playing as the Wolf Spider Exarch in the top right hand side of the map. We have Noisy in mid playing as the Tech Marine, and we have Harmona playing as the Apothecary down in the top left lane. Moving on to the red team, we have Stigma8113 playing as the Commando Knob. Playing in the bottom left lane up against Harmona, we have Zanzibar in mid playing as the Lictor Alpha against Noisy, and we have Hunter on the right hand side up against Adilla. Judgment of Karen is a bit of a weird map in the sense that there are a lot of path blockers in certain areas, such as here. This uh, particular pipe wall can only be crushed by heavy walkers, such as dreadnoughts and such like that. I don't think you can kill it with grenades or ASM jumps, making it a bit more awkward to actually fight in the early game or to try and help out your teammates in the early game. But come later game, everyone can just pile into the mid with their heavy walkers, with their tanks, and crush down those walls. Really bit of action here between Hunter and Adilla. Some Banshees taking a bit of damage here from the Termagons. They tried to back away the Walt Spider in position to try and do some damage here. Banshees and Dire Avengers going to engage here. The Walt Spider going to get tied up there by the Hive Tyrant landing a special there. Homagons going to be jumping onto those Banshees. Knocked onto the ground here. Banshees going to get forced off here. Gain a bit low right now. Walt Spider is going to enter a building here. I just remain in that building for quite some time. Hunter without any spawn mines whatsoever has nothing to actually clear the building. Meanwhile in mid, Noisy getting engaged upon by the Lictor Alpha. Two models in this tactical marines have already gone down to that Lictor Alpha. And this tech marine does need to be a bit careful. Lictor Alpha not having flesh hook off cooldown. Some spawn mines on the way as well to clear the scouts outside of that building. Tech marine trying to do what he can here. Is picking off quite a few models here of these Termagons since they're not behind any cover whatsoever. And that tech marine bolts are doing quite a lot of damage here. Lictor Alpha needs to go tie him up in melee. Tech Marine nearly level 2, in fact, from just killing off those Termagons, although I can't click him for some reason. One more Termagon and he will be level 2. Meanwhile, on that right hand side, Stigma pushing up against Harmona. The double shoot is going to be forcing that Apo off. The Apo in a bit of a weird position is actually outside of his base. Orcs in between the base, although there are no sluggers on the retreat path. Tactical Marines could try and force melee onto these shooters with that Apo healing, but taking a lot of damage and trying to tie them up into melee combats here. Tactical Marines trying to do what they can. The Apo without any heal whatsoever. Not enough energy for a heal. It looks like he's already used two heals so far at this game, or two abilities at this game so far. The k -Nub trying to tie up the Tactical Marines in melee, and the Apo trying to tie up the k -Nub in melee. Just a nice long chain of everything, trying to tie everything up in melee and scouts, even trying to follow the commander up as well. Some wires in the ceiling, loot is going to be setting up here. Tactical Marines going to get forced off, going to be losing a model there as well. Might even lose a second model if they're not careful. We're on right hand side, Dilly pushing even further forward here. Does have a Guardian Weapons team, does have a second Dire Avenger squad as well, both upgraded with the aspect of the Avenger. Hunter will need to be careful when trying to engage in melee with the double plasma grenades available to be thrown down. Banshee's taking quite a bit of damage here. Going to be able to back away there with five models in the high turn. Going to get four stuff by the amounts of range damage coming out from the double Dire Avengers Guardian Weapons team. And War Spider. Meanwhile, Slug's going to be engaging Harmonious Scouts here. Harmonious does like to go for double scout snipers. Might even consider going double scout snipers against Stigma here on this right hand side. A little bit harder to make work against the Orcs, given that the Snipers don't actually one-shot the models. But we'll see. Banshee's taking a lot of damage here. Melee Raven is going to be engaging here. And at the same time, Zanzibar is also coming over to the side here of Noisy um, of Adilla. And Noisy is going to be pushing through mid on his own. And these Dire Avengers are getting knocked over before they actually get the retreat there. Taking a lot of damage here. But it looks like Adilla's stuff will all get out just fine without a single squad loss whatsoever. But at the same time, losing quite a few model scouts hit, going in for a very risky decap on him. So actually get that decap in the end, forced off barely at the end here. But Devastators are going to be set up here for Noisy. Tactical Marines going to be falling back here in Zanzibar, going for a Warrior Brood here. He needs to use that Lictor Alpha to interrupt those Devastators cracking rounds, getting used very effectively against these Warriors since they are heavy infantry, trying to get a Synapse Bomb to go off Tech Marine. Not jumping in that fight whatsoever, just seeing behind some cover there. Meanwhile, on that right hand side, ASM going to be engaging Looters, going to get forced off here. And Double Scouts going to be going for shotguns instead instead of the sniper rifles that you see Harmona commonly go for. 
but the power has been bashed here for blue team. Harmonia needs to recap now, reload that and build some more power. And Hunter coming in for the flank now against Noisy. Raven is getting very low right now. 130 free HP, but still on full models. Technomarine trying to chase down, trying to force melee. Technical Marine trying to also force melee at the same time. Devastators can actually force melee onto the Termagons and actually do okay, but the Hive Tyrant coming in though is going to make it a bit more difficult. And Homogons also on the scene now. Elixir Alpha is going to be jumping in onto those Tactical Marines, landing a special there. Knocking one down onto his feet, and the Homogon's going to try and take some models here on the tree. These Tactical Marines are definitely going to lose a model here. One model has gone down. Grenade getting thrown onto the pipework here, but the grenades are not going to actually destroy that pipework there. Adila unable to actually help Noisy out in mid for now, and that's why it makes it so difficult to help out your teammates. It's very laneyfied. The closest entrance is very close to your base. Even the contested journey to farm here for Zanzibar, these cables in the sky are very annoying here. Some slugs will hide the boys, going to burn down this journey to farm here. It's not even completed journey to farm, but going to prevent Blue Team from doing anything more of it. Generates have just got placed down here for Noisy as soon as these slugs appear. But if Harmonia can hold this contested journey to farm, then Blue Team should be able to catch up or be able to try and equalize in terms of power at the moment. But Zanzibar's term guard is taking a lot of damage here. It's going to back away here, taking quite a bit of damage. One squad is forced to retreat away, a second squad forced to retreat away, a Brunest placed down in mid from Hunter to Zanzibar here. In fact, Hunter is even on his way towards mid. Hunter's Ravenous though, very low still, only at 400 HP. We need to be careful about that. And Stigma going to go in for the capture onto the power farm here. Meanwhile, Harmona is forced to defend his own natural and will start to move back in. Look to Alpha though, going to get forced off here by Noisy. Meanwhile, in mid though, the double Tyranids are grouping up together. The Guardian Weapons team needs to set up double Dire Avengers here. Could throw down some grenades. Warp Spider again, absolutely battered there. Goes in for the Tangle on the Warriors, but already again throwing down some grenades. Going to go down, going to be absolutely devastating there to the army of Zanzibar and Hunter. The Guardian Weapons team getting forced off though by these Ravenous Banshees. Going to be engaging though. These Ravenous in melee combat here, trying to force them off, or trying to get a model on retreat there, but they're going to get away though. With another three models, very lucky these Ravenous this game. Hive Tyrant is also going to back away, does have that warp field, very tanky with that energy shield. Going to fall back to the Broodness, going to try and engage in the fight now. Kind of weapons team and Devastators are coming back in once again. The Hive Tyrant taking a lot of damage here, going to get four stuff. We should be able to live overall though. The Broodness is also going to get focused down here as well. And Termagons and Homagons are going to get forced off in the end. Meanwhile, on this left hand side, Harmona trying to sit behind some green cover. I believe these pipes are green cover. But there's just so much attacker here. And Sluggers coming in with the burn as well. Going to tear down that journey so far. Once again, ASM going to probably engage the looters here. Going to get rid of that suppression. Might even go for the Sluggers instead since they are burning down that journey so far. And is desperate to keep them alive. Shotgun blast onto the looters could go down and interrupt them. The Sluggers going to get engaged here by these ASM. Shooters also gained very low, going to get four stuff here and the Tech Marine coming in with his Plasma Gun, going to be very effective here since he's using the Plasma Overcharge. Plasma Gun's not the most effective against the infantry but still do full damage to them. But the Plasma Gun going to be very effective against both Tyranid players, gain, hitting those Warriors, hitting the Commanders as well at the same time to try and get those Synapse Bombs to go off in the Devastators Guardian Weapons team. There's just so much suppression here, the Lictor Alpha, unable to actually interrupt all of it. And just walking in front of the Guardian Weapons team here, I'm not sure what he's doing, he just looks like he's a little bit stuck there. But it did get detected there by the Warlock, who does have a detection radius of 15. Meanwhile, on that right hand side, Warp Spider pushing in here as well. Banshees have just gone down for a dealer, the Warp Spider forced to retreat away. But the Power Bash could come in here. Tyrant Guard is going to come out here for Zanzibar to try and defend here, and the Dire is going to get four stuff. Devastators and Guardian Weapons team are also going to get four stuff here. Plasma Gun going to be very effective here from Noisy, and the Plasma Gun on Tactical Marine going to be extremely effective here against this Tyrant Guard since it's super heavy infantry. Dreadnought might be a decent purchase to actually tear down some of these pipes so teammates can actually help each other out a little bit better. Apo are going to use the heal on themselves, going to tear down the contested generator farm. Meanwhile, the natural generator farm still in on one generator. Blue team having a, a, a lack of power throughout this game here. Devastator is going for the double vengeance rounds here to actually counter this Tyrant Guard. The Warriors going to try and leap into combat here, but just getting melted by these Devastator rounds. Or well, vengeance rounds, sorry. The two Warrior models have gone down. Before the Warriors were able to actually get the leap into combat and these Devastators having to retreat away here. Beacon in mid might not even be a bad idea here for Noisy given that he is the Tech Marine. Plasma Guns though are going to be destroying this Tyrant Guard. Vengeance Rounds also will destroy this Tyrant Guard. Going to enter a Shield Wall Formation. Double Vengeance Rounds though don't think are not even going to be enough unless you are point blank with them. The Shield Wall Formation turns the Tyrant Guard into Vehicle Armor. 
and also heals at the same time, making it very difficult to heal the Autoc, though getting extremely low the contested during the farm on this right hand side, currently neutralized here by Hunter, going to be engaging the Dire Avengers here, gets a special grenade, is going to get thrown down, the grenade is going to miss the Ravenous as they were actually able to finish their burrow and push in further forward, meanwhile this Tyrant Guard is just remaining. <laughs> where it is right now, taking so much damage, unable to out-heal the amount of damage coming out here from the plasma guns. If the double venture rounds does get activated, I think this Tyrant Guard is most definitely going to go down here. But meanwhile, the Tyrant Guard is buying a loss of time right now, just by being here. And here go the venture rounds, much smooth coming in. That Tyrant Guard is going to remain alive by the looks of it, down to just 500 HP. ASM going to be engaging on this right-hand side here, going to be jumping onto those looters. Luce is going to get tied up with the Sluggers with a Nobel Leader. Going to be destroying these ASMs that don't get healed in a second, but the suppression coming in from the Devastators of Hormone are going to come in just in time to protect those ASM on free models still. But the Devastators are getting suppressed by these shooters with their large shooters. Shotgun Scouts are going to come in for the Shotgun Blast, but I don't know if it's going to be in time. These Devastators are taking so much damage, one model does go down, but the Shotgun Blast comes in to actually protect them. Meanwhile, the Shotgun Blast is going to come in as well, going to knock over that knob leader, but Tactical Marines are now engaged in melee combat against these Sluggers, going to be forced off, and Harmona going to be forced back to base here. Sluggers are going to remain on the field, and the power has been loaded there for Red Team. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, Contested Jerry's of Farm currently in control of Red Team as well, and Adila is forced to tear it down as well. Looks like the Tyrant Guard is gone down or was forced off in the end here. I think it was forced off here because this one's already got some experience. I'm going to assume that this is the Tyrant Guard that was in mid, that was in the shield formation. Looks like it managed to actually get away there. And it's going to be engaging once again. Goes to go after those plasma tactical marines and model has gone down. It's charging in here. I don't think it's got enough energy then for a shield wall formation if it gets a bit too low here. Was able to actually go all the way up to the second Devastator squad here. Take as much plasma fire. The shield wall formation is not going to happen here. It is going to go down. And at the same time, Zanzibar able to push through. But losing Tyrant Guard is quite a large loss here if he's unable to actually wipe any squads here. Or if he's unable to actually gain control of mid. These Devastators getting very low. These Devastators are most likely going to go down. Homogons leaving into melee combat here. It's getting so low. It will go down. That Tyrant Guard's death is now worth it. On the right hand side, Hunter going to get four stuff here. 322 VPs, 326 of Warp Spider Squad has been called in here as well. Hive Tyrant going for that crushing claw upgrade. He is going to be a one man army. Improved synapse on Warp Field. Very tanky. Hive Tyrant, very tanky. Equivalent to almost like a walker. In fact, 108 heavy melee damage is slightly higher than some walkers. In fact, Tech Marine going to get engaged upon on by some warriors here. An Assault Cannon Dreadnought though is in the area, but Dreadnought's actually getting path blocks on the Tech Marine going to try and do an Assault Barrage, trying to finish off some units, unable to actually finish off any units though by the looks of things. Meanwhile, Harmon again control of his generator farm once again, Tyrant Guard going to be engaging here, going to land a special against that Guardian Weapons team, along with the Homogons going to force down that Shuriken Catapult as well, taking so much damage but the Shuriken Cannon or Shuriken Catapult is going to live overall, and Homogons going to back away, Tyrant Guard taking quite a bit of damage there from the Plasma Grenade. Meanwhile, Hunter are going to be engaging the Orsa, going to be leaping in there with that Executioner weapon doing power of melee. Going to be very effective against that Tyrant Guard, but the Orsa is not very tanky and can't really 1v1 the Tyrant Guard. But very good for buffing the Dillard's army. The Hive Tyrant is just going to slowly walk in here, that energy shield has run out. The Tyrant Guard also in the area. The Dire Avengers going to be throwing a great aid, going to be landing also those Tyrant Guards here. I don't know why the Hive Tyrant didn't actually engage in melee, just kind of sat there. The Tyrant Guard also going to be charging out, so they're going to run over some of his own units maybe. Looks like he'll manage to avoid his own units for now, and Harmon are going to be pushing through here. Stigma's army. Not sure where it is. Currently in base actually, by the looks of it. But the Commander Knob still in the field, going to go in for a capture onto the natural requisition that's seen right outside of Harmon's base. Very annoying. That commando knob. Meanwhile, Hamona's coming in very flanking mid. Zanzibar here. Going to take a lot of damage here. These warriors don't seem to have noticed that they're coming in for a flank here. And the warriors are going to go down here if they're not careful. Down to just 19 HP. Triple synapse bomb going to go off here. And the Homogons are also going to go down at the same time. Zanzibar are going to lose a squad after squad here. Homogons gone down. Glitzer Alpha gone down. Warriors gone down. I'm pretty sure two Homogon squads actually went down here in the end. That's a lot of losses there for Zanzibar. You know, Hamon is going to be pushing in through the power here. 201 VPs to 323. Devastator's going to get forced off that VP as Stigma groups up and just runs out of base there. Going to reclaim all the territory that he's lost. Well, he doesn't actually lose any territory. But he will probably reclaim that power while Harmona is currently in mid. The red team is going to be losing their power in mid here. 
but the majority of red team tier 3 or taking up to tier 3 now, in fact all of red team taking up to tier 3 or are already tier 3 themselves. Meanwhile, blue team kind of forced to stay in tier 2 with that power deficit. Squad here is going to go down. Looks like the Warp Spider is going to go down. Spoldmine is even called in here from the Lictor Alpha in mid. Trying to guard the engage in melee combat. Some bit of friendly damage there onto the Warp Spider, but a very nice grenade here. And Harmona coming in for the flank once again here. Going to be trying to kill some squads off. I don't think he's going to actually kill any of those this time. Tyrant guard though. <laughs> Going to charge through there, the ASM getting knocked over as they try to charge in themselves. The Autark is going to run in here, can actually buff the army of Harmon with the leap. Does affect allies as well as your own units as well, not just Eldar units, in fact. Can be very effective at inspiring your entire army. PDF sets up in mid there, going to prevent that Elixir Alpha from getting capped. Going to prevent the commander knob from the cap potentially if you land a shot in between here. Might be able to knock both commanders off. Going to knock that cane up off as well, but Elixir Alpha is going to engage in melee combat there to interrupt those PDEVs. And there you go, the entire army is now buffed. The scouts, ASM, Tactical Marines all getting the same buff that the Eldar gets as well when the Orsuck jumps on friendly units. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be engaging here, going to be jumping in, going to be knocking over that Venom Brute. Going to try and get those Synops bombs to go off there. Going to use the Merciless Strike Shotgun's Blast, could go off there. Shotgun Scout's going to get very low here. Shotgun Blast doesn't go off, but the Shotgun Scouts have already gone down here. ASM forced to retreat, the Venom Brute did not lose a single model, so there were no Synops bombs whatsoever. The Autark, in fact, Harmon is just going to have his entire army forced off. The Autark does need to be careful that Crushing Core Hive's Tyrant is extremely scary in melee combat, especially when you're trying to retreat away from him given that he attacks once every second as well. The Hive Tyrant is going to try and go after that Falcon though in the end here. Falcon take quite a bit of damage. Homogon's also running in as well at the same time. Noisy able to defend mid and Harmon's army was running through mid as well. Assault Cannon Dreadnought is going to be pushing forward here for him. Going to try and go in for a little bit of a power bash. Meanwhile, Dire Avengers onto the natural VP here. Going to try and defend. Homogon's though are just all over these Dire Avengers. And Dire Avengers will need to be a little bit careful. Warp Spider's coming out of base once again here. Fully regen now. Falcon's still in the area. Ravenous though, going to be doing a lot of damage to these Warp Spiders if they're not careful. Crack Shot getting used onto them as well to actually give them increased range, increased damage as well by 25%. And Stigma going to be coming in for the flank here. Dump Squad coming in from the rear here against Noisy. We'll need to be careful. Devastators are set up though on the Jurian to farm. Looks like Noisy's half expecting this. A turret even set up here as well onto the power farm as well. But Devastators going to try and do what they can against these knobs, against these double shooters, against these looters, against these sluggers. It's just a bit too much here for these knobs to handle, uh, for these Devastators, sorry, to handle. Adila is making his way now to the center of the map here. The Stigma's army is very scary at this point. At the same time, Red Team going to be losing their Jarrus farm in mid if they're not too careful about this. A turret is set up here to actually suppress the army that comes in. But I don't know if the turret is going to be enough here. Tyrant Guard is going to be leading the charge in here. Not getting focused down right now. Drenor is going to be engaging. Mark Target is getting used onto the Tyrant Guard as well, so it takes an extra 40% damage rate into the Doom ability on the fast here. And that would combine with the Plasma Fire. It's going to be a lot for the Tyrant Guard to actually handle. Even the Dreadnought trying to melee it down, going to enter a shield wall formation. Raven is going to be burn in. Tamic Bunks are going to be firing away here. Raven is going to get forced off here as the Tyrant decides to focus them down. Instead, these Tyrant Marines are getting a little bit low here. Needs to back away here. In fact, the squad is going to go down overall, going in a little bit too far here. But at the same time, Noisy is going to force off these two Tyranid armies by the looks of it by himself. Meanwhile, you know, Elixir Alpha here getting a little bit caught out, going to be retreating away. Stigma is forced to retreat all the way back to base here. The power farm did go down here for Blue Team in the center, and the power node is getting rebuilt. Dreadnought going to melee down that Tyrant Guard. Dreadnought doing about 73 heavy melee damage, I believe, when it still has one claw and still has a or an assault cannon or a multi melter which is still quite a lot of damage in melee but it's the melee resistance that you lose which makes the dreadnought much less effective in melee combat overall the p devs in the area as well ripper's going to be engaging some p devs here dreadnought taking a lot of damage here from this form back can effects and that melee resistance is needed if it wants to try and tank the form back can effects but without melee resistance it's going to take extra damage here from melee these rippers though interrupting these plasma devastators. Harmona coming in with the heal though on his APO and then trying to push through on his side. Dreadnought is able to actually get away there and Scout's going to start repairing that up. And the Carnifex is actually going to back away here in the end. The missile launcher turret is going to get upgraded here but Carnifex is behind the missile launcher turret can just kill it from behind without the missile launcher turret unable to actually react. Meanwhile Carnifex is going to be pushing in on the right hand side. It's going to be a Venom cannon. Carnifex though for Hunter. 
Warp Spider is also upgraded here with the Power Blades here, but the Power Blades not going to be the most effective counter in the Can't Fix. I think the Can't Fix can easily melee down that Warp Spider. Warps are going to be leaping in here. The Warp Spider getting surrounded here by some home guns. Going to be able to teleport away Haywire Grenades onto the Venom Brood Can't Fix or Venom Cannon Can't Fix, along with a Dire Avenger Grenade. Grenades were increased to do more damage to vehicles. The most recent patch the Dire Avenger Grenade doing some decent damage here. Warp Spider is getting chased away though by the home guns. Falcon can now start focusing down Nat's Can't Fix now instead. But the Haywire Grenade effects has run out, and Can't Fix is going to be back to normal. Knobs getting knocked over here. Commandos, no, not Commander. Shooter is going to try and go in for the capture here, and Orbital Bombardment is going to go down, but the Orbital is going to miss completely here. Looks like it was trying to combine with the Shotgun Blast into an Orbital, but it came a little bit too late. Nobs with the huge hammers gaining a lot of momentum, but they're swinging away at those Space Marines as they try to retreat away. We might noisy going to be set up in mid Devil Devastators, the Assault Cannon Dreadnought, the Tech Marine as well. Going to be set up here, meanwhile Hunter trying to push through on this other side. More grenades going to land onto the Hive Tyrant here. Dire Avengers grenades are now on cooldown, but that Hive Tyrant taking model after model though with that crushing claw. Everyone's going to force melee on him, this Hive Tyrant gained very low right now. Should go down to the Power Blades of that Warp Spider, also gained very low herself as well. Needs to be careful, the Conflex could try and melee her down on retreat. But doesn't look like it's unable to actually do so. And Warp Spider going to try and tie up a Venom Brood here. Can't fix taking quite a bit of damage here from that Falcon. Falcon able to do a lot of soft AV damage, in fact. Warp Spider doesn't go away from mid. But there is a Rocks going down somewhere. Looks like Rocks happened here, maybe. But the Dreadnought trying to run away here from these knobs, though. With these huge hammers, Dreadnought without any melee resistance is going to struggle. But a second Dreadnought is coming into the area here. And this is a melee Dreadnought as well. Can easily fight those knobs. Especially with the marked target activated on them as well, giving them an extra 40% damage. But these plasma devastators are getting very low, retreating a little bit too late here. Going to get caught out by these knobs here. The knobs busy landing a sink on that one particular model. Going to actually let the P devs get away. They all four of them look like they were in sink kill mode there on just one model or two models. And the knobs unable to actually wipe those P devs. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Death for stigma. Sink kills. Uh, some of the coolest and most annoying thing about this game when you want to try and continue or want to get back into the fight and they're too busy doing a fancy little kill there but the double card effects are going to be pushing in Zanzibar going to be joining the fight here with Hunter against Adila here some rippers even spawned it here from the spawn back card effects which is now back up to full health from earlier after it took down that missile launch turret Zan Fripe is also in the area as well providing healing bonuses towards the units in the area Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, ASM trying to go in for a capture onto the VP here. Going to get forced off in the end here. 183 VPs to 89 here of Red Team. Some shotgun scouts are going to be coming into the area, but going to get detected by those shooter boys with the shooter boy knob. The Assault Cannon Dreadnought are getting really low, down to just 400 HP. Really want to keep this alive since it is a level 3 Dreadnought. The second Dreadnought has been upgraded to an Assault Cannon as well. Shotgun scouts, or just regular scouts, very for noisy, getting extremely low here. The Assault Cannon Dreadnought trying to do what they can. Could be Terminators here for Noisy, I don't know if he's tier 3 or not, so it could just be a regular drop pod for all I know. Until it's still tier 2, Noisy is actually still tier 2, so it's just a regular tactical marine drop pod. Going to be coming in here, these double assault cannon dreadnoughts, trying to do what they can. Falcon gained very low, going to be able to leave in the end. But the Venom kind of is going to try and do what he can as well here. But going to get forced off in the end. Could have tried to go for that one dreadnought that's very low here. Tactical Marine's going to be upgraded to a missile launcher straight away here as a source of AV, but the Term Gun's going to be a bit too much for these Tactical Marines to actually handle here. Dreadnoughts are going to push through in the Soul Barrage though. He's going to absolutely destroy these Term Guns, but it does actually get cancelled a little bit early. That only does one swing through instead of two swing throughs. The Falcon here, having to sit back even further forward, that Venom Cannon can fix doing, I think, 50 piercing DPS. 50 armor piercing DPS, yeah. 100 damage per shot. It's very annoying for vehicles to actually handle. Ooh, fallback card effects though, coming in from the flank here, going to be charging through, going to be interrupting these last kind of devastators and missile launch tactical marines and the dreadnoughts, trying to fight this card effects in melee. This card effects does have melee resistance, this is a fallback variant. Bioplasma is even going to go down onto the dreadnoughts here. At the same time, some time we got source coming in from the flank. P devs going to try and set up, going to miss their shot. Dire Avengers trying to throw some grenades down here. It looks like they actually grenade themselves in the end. It looks like he got caught on the capillary towers. Very unfortunate though. Another really nice P-Dev shot going to be taking down that Brunez. That one Carnifex trying to run away here. 
should be able to get away unless it can get melee down though by those two drones. Some more P dev shots going to go down. It looks like the assault barrage is going to go down, and that conflex will go down. So the dual assault cannon at barrage. Meanwhile, on that right hand side, Tyrion is still trying to push through in the air. It's running formation going to go down. Also, those P devs, these tactical marines are very low right now. P devs, uh, I'm not sure if P devs survived or not. I think they died. Tech marine is also going to die as well in this engagement. The last kind of going to try and set up in the area. Walt spiders. Hey, white grenade is on cooldown. Term gone, so going to be destroying those devastators. 86 VPs, 289. The Predator is going to be running away here. The Venom Brood gain very low right now, losing a model here. Lictor is going to try and chase down this Predator, but it's not a tier 3 Lictor, it's the Lictor Alpha, so it doesn't have any heavy melee whatsoever to actually fight that Predator. And the Eldritch Storm is going to go down, but the Eldritch looks like it's going to miss, going to kill a Venom Brood and going to get a synapse knockback. The double Dreadnoughts here, if they could get in the Soul Barrage, could be very devastating right now. Lesson of the Omnizai is getting used to actually repair this Dreadnought and double the Soul Barrage. They're going to be destroying the, the army here of Hunter, bring down very low. This one Carnifex this needs to just focus down that Dreadnought. does actually get the Dreadnought before it goes down himself, but the Venom Brood is also going to go down at the same time. Meanwhile, Nob's going to start battering their way onto this journey to farm here as well. The Commando Nob is also upgraded with just a missile launcher. I'm surprised he hasn't had the better combat hit much earlier in the game. 37 VPs, 289 here. Also going to be engaging this hive turn here down to just 680 HP here. Nobs going to go in. Vanguard veterans now for Harmony. Their power melee is going to be much more effective against these knobs, the leader of the Vanguards as well, using their power fist, which is quite a scary weapon to use. But call the boys getting used. Two more knobs coming in from out of nowhere. These Vanguards are going to struggle here, but the heal coming in. Frenzy is now activated. These knobs are now immune to all sorts of damage. The Vanguards are deciding to back out of there since there's nothing that they can actually do about it. Shotgun Blast is going to come in and to knock them over, but now they're in their frenzy state, they cannot be suppressed. But they will be running away back to base now. Pipes have finally been destroyed now in mid here. Lion the Dillard to actually come through to mid without having to take the long way around. Shimmerob getting thrown down onto the ground here, allowing them to cap 8 VPs though for Blue Team. They really need this capture here. The Venom Brood against to try and engage the Warp Spider in melee combat here, but the Venom Brood not the most effective in melee combat since they're all armed with Venom Cannons. Also getting extremely low, surrounded by Homogons. This is going to go down. Warp Spider is also going to go down here by the looks of it. Down to just 16 HP, Tamagons able to finish him off. The Drone was pushing through mid. Warp Spiders and Dire Avengers in the area. Warp Spiders going to back away. Dire Avengers going to back four stuff in the end here. Drenor is coming in here. Going to try and force Melons and Venom Brood, I imagine. Going to be able to get a few Samus Bombs. Your Falcon is in the area. The Assault Cannon Barrage is not going to knock these Raveners off the VP though. It's going to be a one to one cap, but Harmona is actually able to push through on his side. GG is called by Harmona, but Harmona able to actually get a decap here. It's going to make a 1 to 1 cap rather than a 2 to 1 cap, allowing them to actually stay in the game right now. Walt Spider is going to go in for the capture as well. It's going to be a 1 to, it's going to be a 2 to 1 cap now here. 4 to 79 VPs. Red Team also a little bit lower VPs here as well. We need to be a bit worried at this point. Nob's trying to go in here. The Frenzy does cost 75 red to use, and Stigma does actually have that red, and Frenzy is popped right now. A Vanguard Veteran is going to be jumping in for the knockback on to get these knobs. Shotgun Blast is off cooldown. Angels of Death going to get used here as well. But the knobs going to gain a lot of momentum from these swings here. Vanguards are going to actually fight these knobs here. The knob Frenzy has run out now, and Vanguard's going to try and chase them away. The Devastators are running away here. Meanwhile, Lictor is coming in for a cap in mid, and the cap is going to be unable to actually get captured in mid since there's no capping units, there's only a Tyrant Guard and a Carnifex. Vanguard veterans are going to easily be able to fight these knobs here. Devastators did go down. Meanwhile, Tactical Marines going to melee down some shooters that are trying to actually capture the VP. Knobs are going to go down overall. Meanwhile, in mid, the Carnifex and Tyrant Guard are trying to buy a lot of time. There are some units to come in here. Raveners and Home Guns, which can actually cap. Knobs have just gone down. Tactical Marines still trying to melee down these shooters, but shooter, a second the shooter with squad has come in. Four VPs to two VPs. The VPs have just run out there for Red Team. And Blue Team managed to come in here with a 4 0 win in terms of VPs, able to just barely scrape through in this game after having a lack of power through the game. Even some players forced to stay tier 2. Noisy still tier 2. They are going to be able to win here in the end.